So in 2012, I was looking for farmland, having started a practice in Georgetown. And I was traveling around looking for various places. And, and I had some criteria. I wanted something that was, you know, serene, you know, quiet, you know, good backdrop for building a house. And I stumbled across this piece of land that had this old structure. I discovered that many famous Native American leaders, chiefs, doctors, lawyers, had gone to this one academy in Kentucky um, that not very much had been written about, Choctaw Academy. And as I looked into it a bit more, I also discovered that this school operated on the plantation of Richard Mentor Johnson, who became vice president of the U.S. under Van Buren, who was a longtime Democratic Party leader uh, and an important figure. And another thing that's interesting about him is that he had a long-term relationship with an African-American woman that he legally owned, Julia Chen, and they had two children together. Um, that ties into the academy as well because those children were educated at Choctaw Academy. So uh, this is a real meeting ground of America's diverse people in a way that we rarely see in antebellum history. I think that's an important story to uh, show America's diversity and also show the ways in which these diverse peoples have tried to find ways to find a common ground, a meeting ground. And that's why Great Crossings is, is such a good metaphor because it's about the idea of convergence and coming together. When I bought the Academy in 2012, or I should say I bought the land and the Academy in 2012, the roof was sagging. The primary timber that was the apical structure of the roof was sagging. Otherwise, it was in reasonably good shape considering the fact it had very little or no maintenance for such a long time. About three months after I bought the Choctaw Academy, that apical roof beam collapsed and then the roof came down. But if it wasn't for the Academy, a lot of these people like Peter Pitchlin, Adam Nail, uh, Richard Folsom, they would not have got the education that they got. They would have not been able to go to the University of Transylvania, become doctors, lawyers, etc., which then basically took them to a point in their history where they could take the Choctaw Nation that step further once they had been moved from the east to the west to the Indian uh, lands. And that to me is an incredible story of empowerment. So I think for us getting involved in this project, uh, it's, it's really, really important. And I think as OCI, we would, like, we would really like to play a part in this historic moment where we're taking something that could be lost for generations that played such an important role for the Choctaw Nation. If we can get the attention that it deserves, I think the money falls in place and we can put it back together again.